Hello, this is Brush Prime, and today we're gonna review the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primo and Cheetor. That's right. Not only not only that the beast characters are appearing in this strange toy line. So, so not only Beast Era, but G1 as well. Yeah. Anyway, let's throw it with Optimus Primal. In gorilla mode, he is in his hunchback. You know the center walking distance of the gorilla mode. You see a little bit of robot kibble, but not too much. Here, if you don't like the robot kibble on his on his on his legs and his feet. You can do the do the one thing that Primal actually do in the show. You can stand him up. Basically, not doing an actual thing. Yeah, you could kind of see the robot kibble behind. But overall, really nicely thing with you can also those tabs, those hole tabs on the back. That's meant for his swords. If you want to attach them, again, it's not really organic. But yeah, now on to Cheetor. This is a better improvement of the universe 2.0 version. Yeah. Again, Chino mode looks really great. You can see a little bit of robot kibble, but not much. Which is really cool. The beast head is really great. Very more Cheetah like, like unlike the original, which is recently got a reissue, which is amazing. You can see the little bit of robot kibble back there. Overall, Cheetah legs can do this motion. The back ones. Said there is also a little angle pivot on this little ball joint, which is weird because Beast Wars into dude mainline that joint. Also, his mouth can open. Give him his. Give what every cheetah do. Meows. No, I'm seriously. Cheetahs can meow. Go, go, YouTube video. Type in cheetahs meow. They don't war, they meow. You know, we really interested. Yeah. Again, for our comparisons, here is next to the T furry Rhinox and the T furry Rap Trap. As some of you wondering why I not, why I didn't use the, the Kingdom Core Rap Trap. That toy is too small for me. Sorry, but rat trap meant to be a big rat. Not this regular size rat. Again, this scales perfectly fine in the Beast Wars. This screams mainframe Beast Wars. Again, I know there's gonna be a Kino Rhinox coming soon, but yeah, this is even Beast Mode looks perfectly fine. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Now, let's see them in their Robo Modes. Here is Optimus Primal and Cheetor in Robo Mode. As you could see. Really nice. Now let's start with, with Primal. As you can see, he looks amazing. So much detail. Got the grill for the robot bits look amazing. Getting really nice. And of course he has these cannons on on the shores, so you can actually have him fly and shoot at enemies. Also got pop-out weapons. You could put blast effects in there. Again, normally I don't display them. I did display the swords. 
The swords are very accurate to the original toy and the cartoon. Again, there's variant that there's these or white to match the the legs. But yeah, very cool. Head scope. Head scope is amazing. Very accurate to the original CGI model. You got Optimus Primal's lip mouth underneath the faceplate. Eyes look amazing. The head scope looks really cool. Very accurate to the original Optimus Primal design. I know Primal got redesigned over the years, so pretty nice. As for Cheetor, the design is really accurate to the original Beast Wars Cheeto. The original toy was a little bit different, but yeah. He got the, the Cheeto legs on his back, very appropriate for him. He got very details, the Cheeto head on his tongue. His scope is very accurate to the original Beast Arrow, even though with the, with the maximum insignia on his chest. Instead of a gut gun or a butt gun, he got the organic version of of his transmetal weapon. You know that spike whip that he used in a couple episodes of the Beast Wars cartoon? Anyway, it is appropriate. It's better than having shurikens and a symbol tilt. Yeah, I could keep on track. And did I mention this design is way better than the Universe 2.0 version? Yes, that cheetor is really bad. But this one is really good. Again, for articulation wise, Optimus Primal head can rotate 360 degrees, both on robot mode and gorilla mode. Arms rotate 300 degrees. They go four, rotate the bicep, bends the bicep. Got wrist shrivel. Got hand articulation. Arm. He got race articulation. Legs go four. They go back. They go. You can do the splits or or the other way. Or the perceptor kick or anything. Got a little bit of rotation. Bend one joint on the knee. Kind of a calf shrivel, but and he has a little bit of an ankle tilt, which is perfectly. Also the gorilla fit can do that. In case you can do it. Yeah. As for Cheetor head can rotate 360 degrees. Arms go only go this far, kind of go back. They can rotate up, they rotate, they bend, they bend at the, at the wrist. The waist has a swivel. Legs go forward, they kind of go back. Legs kind of go for they rotate they bend got a little bit of an ankle tilt that's pretty much it for them in there but one last thing i have to do is i gonna zoom them out fix primal's design and here they are next to here they are. Yeah, I'm gonna fix right. Okay. Here they are next to T Furry, Rhinox, and Rap Trap. This scale works perfectly in robot modes. Rhinox and Rap Trap fits perfectly. Imagine you put the Kingdom Rap Trap, he's gonna get it too small. Imagine if you would. Whether or not we actually going to see the Kingdom Rhinox. Nah, it's kind of a downscale, but anyway. This scale fits perfectly. 
again. Again, I am highly recommend to pick up the Optimus Prime one Cheetor if you can found him. Again, Cheetor Optimus Prime is hard to get. He and his weight mate, Cyclonus, is very hard. But anyway, as for Cheetor, he is easy to get until yeah. Yeah, this scale fits perfectly. If you want to get, if you don't like the, again, also I recommend you pick up the T-Furry Raptor and T-Furry Rhinox if you want to have a perfect scale of the Maximals. Again, understandably, yep, understandably, at this moment, According to the video, Dinobot and Aerator are slowly coming into stores. So, that means, I know Dinobot is tall, but yeah. And also the upcoming Tigertron will be really cute since he is a forager, probably upscale version of Cheetor. And, yeah, the Maximals are going to be complete. Season 1 Maximals are going to be complete, so yeah. Stay tuned for that part two of the Maximal Review of Kingdom. Unlike the Predacons, we're waiting for a tarantula. Well, the tarantula coming in next year. We're waiting for the certain pterosaur and a certain ant. But anyway, th this screens perfectly. Yes. As, as someone who grows up in the 90s, Beast Wars is a amazing cartoon, but anyway, and amazing toys, but yeah, the again, Optimus Primal and Cheetor are amazing. You should pick them up. Again, again for Primal, the last time he got an upgrade was the Optimal Optimus toy from Power of the Primes and and Cheetor from Universe to below that version was bad really bad this is a nice upgrade from that a very long awaiting one but upgrade was on this Primal same thing with Primal anyway this is I'm gonna say yeah, you can pick these guys up and both on retail as well as online stores. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Sparks Prime, so it's in 10. And stay tuned for Kaiju Fertility when I'm going to review, talk about Destroy All Monsters and All Monsters Attack. Yeah, and before you ask, yes, I will do a Predacon, Kingdom Predacon review. It's gonna be a free and one. It'll probably be a free one. You know, whenever I get hold of Beast Wars, Beast Era Megatron, and Beast Era Scorpionock. Yeah. Since Wasp Raiders already, I already did the review for Wasp Raiders, so. I know there's a kingdom version, but yeah, and then that one. But anyway, this first prime steel till all are ten.